Well, um, hi there, uh, Katrina May, this is my name. I'm uh, mostly a filmmaker, but I do uh, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So I think I've been at 106 for about five years, something like that. Um, I think I heard about it when I was pregnant and I do a lot of work from home and then you know when I'm in production on something I, I go and work specifically in an office with a bunch of people that we you know, sort of rent for a period of time but in between time I need somewhere to, to base myself and I was kind of scared that once I had a baby I, I just wanted to separate my home and my creative life and have somewhere else so this came up and I share my little studio here with um, a couple of other fantastic girls who are mostly sort of writers, actory type people, other producers as well. I'm trying to do a lot of writing at the moment to get the next project ready to, to go out and get some funding. And then aside from that, I'm, I'm a mum and I do some corporate work to pay the bills. I just finished a, a short film called The Gallant Captain, which is a, a short animation I made with uh, an animation studio that I, I run with a bunch of people called The Lampshade Collective. The Gallant Captain is a, is a short animated film that uh, I made with Grain Base. It's been doing really well in the film festival sort of circuit. We just won um, Best Film at St Kilda Film Festival, uh, Best Animation, I beg your pardon, at the St Kilda Film Festival recently. Um, and also we won an award at Little Big Shots Film Festival, which is a great festival for kids. Um, we won a big award overseas at, at one called Aspen, um, which means that we're an Oscar qualified film now, uh, which just means that the Oscar judges have to look at it really. Yeah. Yeah, in following up from The Gallant Captain and another film that uh, my studio made called Nullarbor a few years ago, we're constantly trying to develop the next thing to make. Um, it takes a lot of time to develop the kind of animation that we do, that sort of high-end stuff and a lot of writing. So we're working on like a possible TV series concept at the moment for kids, um, a couple of feature films in development and there's always a couple of other bits and pieces that we're talking to other organisations about as well, so we'll see what happens.